And welcome to The Factor Uncensored. Thank you for joining us tonight. Now, our eyes are already on Houston's 2023 mayoral election. Mayor Sylvester Turner will be leaving that chair open. Joining us in studio tonight, the latest candidate hoping to become the city's new leader, Senator John Whitmire. Glad to have you here on The Factor Uncensored tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Isaiah. So you have been very visible out in the community, already doing fundraisers. What made you decide, okay, I'm going to leave leave the state uh, legislature as a senator where you've been very successful for years to run for mayor of Houston. I was asked about a year ago by constituents in my Senate district would I consider running for mayor. In visiting with them, they thought I could use my experience that I've obtained in my public service on behalf of all the Houstonians. We have a great city, we love Houston, but we've got some present day issues that need addressing. And with my experience and my determination, uh, I, I believe I can make a difference. Now, what we have seen already is, for you at least when it comes to fundraising, bipartisan support. And I know in Houston we don't do Republican-Democrat for the mayoral yeah. election, but you've had some high-profile Republicans support you sure. and Democrats as well. For those who may have issue with you getting support from those who may be Republican, what would you tell them? I would tell them that garbage pickup is not a Republican or Democratic issue. It's about getting things done. And if I can receive bipartisan support, whether it's financial or votes or campaign workers, I'd be uh, glad to receive it. Uh, we have nonpartisan elections. We have nonpartisan issues in the city of Houston. And with my experience, I just want to make a difference. I, uh, ha I'm not doing it to start a political career, obviously. Mm -hmm. I've had a very distinguished political career. And quite frankly, it will be difficult to leave the legislature. I love the state senate. I'm the longest serving member there, chairman of criminal justice, but I love Houston more. So if I can use my experience, my conduct, what we need in the city of Houston and our leadership is someone during a crisis can pick up the phone and call Austin for assistance. Mm -hmm. And I just have the ability to reach across the aisle and solve Houston's problem. Harvey funding, the new land commissioner who controls that funding is a Senate colleague of mine, Buckingham. Come January, she and I will be working together to see that Houston Harris County gets its fair share of Harvey funding. And I have dealt with so many of Houston's issues in the legislature, public safety, infrastructure, the budget, and uh, I can bring that experience, those contacts, and work on behalf of the city of Houston and make a difference. That's the only reason I'm running. I don't need a job in the political circles. I haven't run for something else and been rejected to come back to Houston. I have grown up in public service, having gone to the legislature at the age of 23, 10 years in the House, 40 in the Senate, and I have a Rolodex of problem solvers. I know people that work for the city have contacted me, former directors, said, if you'll run for mayor and be elected, I'll, I'll leave retirement to work for you. That's you exciting, go. and we're going to make a difference. Before we go on, one of the things that you were integral and very important in when it comes to the state, prison reform. Yes, sir. Or an advocate for changing the prison system. When you walk away from the state, how do you leave that and then focus on being the mayor? Because with the mayor, you can't really do anything about the prison system, and you are passionate about the prison system. And I'm passionate as mayor. I will have the vision to allow Houston to help former offenders re-enter society. First of all, I want to have a public safety doctrine. We'll be tough and smart on crime. We will increase the boots on the ground, and we'll have treatment modes working with the state. But here's what we've got to do, and I want to do it, and I started it in the state, and we will be the model for the nation of the large cities, a reentry program. There is no reason for someone to be paroled out of Huntsville to the streets of Houston without any resources, without any job opportunities or housing. I will have a reentry program that will be talked about and improve our public safety. It will contribute to less homelessness, and it will just be a better Houston community because I have the experience and the contacts and the vision and the motivation to meet ex-felons and help them reenter society with the conditions that they're going to be taxpayers and cooperate and contribute to our society. So I'm, I will bring the criminal justice experience to public safety and also allowing people to have a second chance in the state of 
in the city of Houston. And nationwide, what we know as midterms and right here in Houston, the most recent elections, many individuals were focused on crime yes, sir. here in Houston. Many said, okay, this is a red herring that Republicans are using to get the vote out, saying they're, they're, the crime is not that high in Houston. Do you think we have a significant crime problem? If so, what do you do about it? I not only think it, I know it, I hear it from my constituents. I go into Yale Street Pharmacy on Yale Street and the senior citizens come over to me and say, you need to run for mayor because we won't leave our house after 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Some of our shopping centers are getting bad images because of the gang activity and the crime in the parking lot. I know that I can make a difference. We will immediately put additional resources on the street. We have 87 police agencies inside the city of Houston, 13,000 peace officers. That's, a, that's, that's a, enough to do a surge. So we need the leadership that will coordinate that, motivate HBD officers where the morale is at an all-time low. I will get Would you the, add more officers to the There's no streets. question. There's no question. And we will get more work out of the current ones. Here's what the city of Houston doesn't do. We don't do lateral hirings. Think about that. That is not a good public safety model. I know officers in Seattle, in Austin, and other venues that are willing to leave there and come to Houston. We need to do an active recruiting. As mayor, I will be a recruiter. I will go to the community colleges. Tell folks we need to buy into our problems. But let me tell you another thing. We got 300 Metro police officers. What do you think they mostly do? Patrol on the Metro lines. And what would you make I would the last have second? It. See, I was here when we had a park. Really quickly, to wrap it up. Well, I'm going to expand their coverage into the community. Work right. with HPD. HISD's got 200 officers. Spring Branch, U of H, TSU. Let's coordinate and let our officers talk to each other, have areas of the community that they're responsible for, but back each other and hold our officers to their training Out of time. and accountable. We'll be hearing from you more during Houston the campaign. Safer. State Senator John Whitmire, thank, thank you for you. dropping by the Factor Uncensored. We'll be back with more Factor Uncensored. The tragedy.